the difference between counter and codependence. And this blocking reality, recognizing that they're flooded, that's why they're blocking reality. Throw anything out there that you'll fight, that changes the topic. What they're saying, the goal is just to block reality. So that's why it's not yeah. truthful. Yeah. If they're blocking reality, so they're the, using lies. But the goal is just to block so the, feedback. Throw anything out there that you'll fight, that changes the topic. The doorway is positive spin, but it's not about the narrative. It's about the emotion. That's the tricky thing I haven't figured out how to teach yet. They're already in motion with the emotion. We're trying to contain it with a story, or they're trying to dump it on us with the stories. You can get underneath the story, pre-story, before the story is just raw emotion. It's working intuitively. That's why I haven't gotten the language yet. It's a pre-symbolic emotional interaction. You're just directing the dysregulation. You become the sort of guiding force of the dysregulation. But if they give you the anger and somehow you can redirect or channel that uh, dysregulation where you don't act it out. Oh, God. That's sort of the holy land or that's my vision or my well, intuition that this would be it's the like way. It's like something, a lightning rod and taking the lightning and throwing it into the ground. Dump it into sad and baby. Shove and it into the it ground. Into the earth. Let it pass through you into the ground. The issue is reality is flooding them. They can't. They need help blocking reality or filtering it. So we help them filter reality. That doesn't require comfort. It can include some of it. The circuitry is already there. They're projecting their self onto, onto you. They've given you all the power. We just don't know how to use it. There's probably too much power. And that's why it's... Well, it's ultimate power. Yes, yeah, see? They're treating us like a god. <laughs> yeah. But the way I, I've dealt with my mother in the past is to treat her like a naughty little girl. She quite likes that. She and might initially get upset about it, but when I say to her, oh, what would your father think, and you know all that sort of stuff, talking to her like she's five years old actually does work. She's 80. I think she really wanted me to play a role. Angry daddy? Yeah. Yeah, she really did. So what's missing is the parent, right? What would your father say about your behavior? Stuff well, that like was that. The, that was Scolding. The only way that, yeah, that was the only way she could motivate herself was through shame. To yeah. get herself to do anything was, was to shame herself. And she really wanted me to shame her in the same way that I felt she abused herself. And I couldn't do that. I found it all fucked up and I couldn't play that oh, it is. game. That's because it is. Yeah, completely. <laughs> It's a way of giving them a childlike boundary that they never had. Us as a god could do it graduated. So we do it, match them first, and then we can slowly scale back and they follow along. Yeah, but so what if it's that out? simple that if you become the scolding parent, but the higher road scolding parent, you slowly yeah. activate their inner parent. Somehow yeah, that never got turned on. 